Hi there, everybody. Today is Wednesday, August 31st, the last day of the month. I'm Danielle Wiggins with your 3 News Now morning update. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me on the WKYC YouTube page. We start with Holly for a check of today's forecast as we go into Labor Day. I know, and it looks amazing today. We're, I'm sure, You've already noticed the difference from uh, earlier this morning, and we've got nothing but clear, sunny skies to brag about throughout this Wednesday. It's going to be just fabulous all the way around. Humidity much lower, seasonal today, highs around 80 degrees. So uh, it's really a perfect way to end the month of August. And I can't believe this is happening. August 31st, how? So uh, looking ahead to uh, more sunshine as we get into September the 1st there tomorrow. And it's going to warm up again a little bit for Labor Day weekend itself. So we can maybe sneak in a little pool time. Air show weather, all of your cookout plans, they look amazing, Danielle. It's going to be quite lovely as we head through the whole weekend and even into next week and next Tuesday as we're heading back to work and school. Very nice. Thank you, Holly. And developing this morning, the Department of Justice says they gathered evidence that shows there was an effort to obstruct the government's investigation into documents taken from the White House and found at former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. The revelation coming from a court filing responding to a request for a special master in the FBI investigation. They say a special master would, quote, harm national security interests. We are continuing to follow this story and will bring you updates both on air and online. And more fallout this morning from the police shooting death of Jalen Walker in Akron. Two months after Walker was fatally shot by police, his family's legal team is criticizing the department's actions following a release of this new video. It shows officers turned off microphones and body cameras after the shooting. The Walker family attorney is questioning why the additional footage was held and not released with the other video back in June. And this news comes on the day the city of Akron released a proposal for a police civilian review board, giving citizens a stronger voice on police policies. The five pages of the plan hope to increase police accountability, including releasing camera footage within seven days of a deadly force incident and releasing all the footage by 30 days. It was created following recommendations from a task force made up of citizens from across the community. We got in that report just at the end of February, I think in the beginning of March, and have been looking at a lot of models across the state and really across the country. So we need a charter amendment that makes sure that no matter who's the mayor, um, that matter no matter who's the city council, it's written in law in our uh, city constitution. Mayor Dan Horgan says he'd like to see it up and running by November of 2023. And in Mayfield Heights, the FAA is investigating exactly what happened to cause a small plane to make a crash landing near Mayfield Middle School. The plane landed in a football field behind the school near senior living apartments. We know it happened within five minutes of taking off from the Cuyahoga County Airport. Three people were on board, the pilot, pilot in training, and a passenger. She performed a training exercise where they saw the, the, the aircraft out and turn it back on and continue on with their flight plan. Uh, during that time, there was a mechanical malfunction and the aircraft did not turn back on. The Ohio State Highway Patrol says the pilots handled the situation exactly how they were supposed to. The pilot is in the hospital with a broken rib, so broken ribs and some bruising, and the other two people had minor injuries. And yesterday, President Biden spoke in Pennsylvania about crime and police funding, laying out his Safer America plan. The president discussed the framework for his plan to fund community policing and gun reform, as he called out Republicans for opposing his proposal to restore a ban on assault-style weapons. On Thursday, the president will deliver a primetime speech focused on the, quote, battle for the soul of the nation. And people will begin to say goodbye to portions of their student loan debt as the Biden administration announced it will soon forgive millions of dollars in student loans. But when you sign up, how do you know if it's legitimate or a scam? The Better Business Bureau has these tips to help you protect yourself. Dave Chodowski reports. First, understand that these government programs are free to sign up for and that anyone offering you help for a fee is a red flag. 
Number two, know the ins and outs of your student loan. Don't fall for it if a scammer promises you benefits the government or your loan provider hasn't already offered you. Number three, do your research. Look up the lender or company reaching out to you to see if they're legitimate. Number four, look twice before you click. Some imposters often create lookalike government websites, so pay attention to the URL. And finally, protect your private data. Don't give out your social security number, federal student aid ID, or any other personal information. And also remember, the Biden administration is only able to forgive federal student loans, not any loans from private lenders. An application process will be available in the coming weeks. And of course, we will keep you updated when it launches. OK, turning to NASA, because officials there say they are now targeting Saturday for the Artemis One moon mission. Monday's attempt was scrubbed due to a technical issue with an engine. But after reviewing data, Engineers believe they understand why the issue happened. The test flight is the next major step in returning humans to the lunar surface. If successful, Artemis 1 could pave the way for a crew capsule to be put into lunar orbit for the first time in 50 years. OK, take a look at this because it's pretty cool. So 20 years ago, LeBron James graced the cover of Sports Illustrated. Yes, the kid from Akron and the headline read the chosen one. And now the latest cover of Sports Illustrated has a similar look, but it includes LeBron's two sons, Bronny and Bryce. And this time the cover reads the chosen sons. Both of LeBron's boys followed in his footsteps, becoming some of the best teenage basketball players in the country. Bronny is 17 and it's speculated he'll take the collegiate route. And while Bryce is only 15, he already has an offer from Duquesne. In a recent article, LeBron hinted at staying in the league long enough to play with Bronny. And you gotta take a look at his t-shirt there. It's a throwback to the first Sports Illustrated cover. Okay, now back to Three News. We have some big news to share with you. Beginning next month, Three News is expanding. What's new with Betsy and Jay is moving to 4 p.m. They will stick around for the first half hour of What's Now at 5 p.m. with Carmen Blackwell and Christy Paul. So What's Now will offer everything from today's top health headlines to consumer tips to saving you money, of course. At 5.30, Laura Queso and Russ Mitchell will join Christy and Carmen leading into 3 News at 6. So this all starts Monday, September 12th. Well, thank you for taking time to join me for this 3 News Now morning update. Our digital team will continue to bring you the stories making headlines around Northeast Ohio and beyond. Make sure you continue to check our social media pages and WKYC.com throughout the day. I'm Danielle Wiggins, and I'll see you tomorrow morning on go starting at 4.30 a.m. Yeah, wake up with us. Have a great day, everybody.